creating a portal to show related data. In the previous lesson, you created your first layout, the client list. In this video, you'll create a client detail layout where your users can see information about each client, including their visits. Using the wireframe from Lesson 1, you'll build your layout to match your sketch. The top of the screen will have the client information, and the bottom half shows the related visits. Start by creating a new layout. If you're not in layout mode, click Edit Layout. In the toolbar, choose New Layout, Report. Since you're creating a client detail layout, make sure Client is selected in the Show Records From dropdown. Name the layout Client Details. Choose Touch Device, then select iPad. This time, choose Form, which will allow your users to see one record or one client at a time. Click Finish. Now that you've created the layout, you'll want to add a title, as well as client fields. To add a title, select the text tool from the toolbar. Click in the top navigation part where you want the title to appear. Type Client Details. In the Inspector Style panel, choose Header Text as the style. Next, add client fields to your layout. If the field picker isn't open, click on the field picker in the toolbar. In the Drag options, align the fields vertically, then set the labels to appear above the field. Click on the first name in the field picker, hold down the Shift key, and click on Email. This will highlight five of the fields you want on the layout. Drag the fields onto the body of the layout near the left side of the screen. Back in the field picker, click on Photo and drag it to the layout on the right side of the fields you previously added. Resize the Photo field to line up with the top of the first name field. Also, extend the height of the field so it lines up with the bottom of the email field. Take advantage of the blue dynamic guides to help you line up the photo field. Exit layout mode to see the newly added client fields. Now your users can drag and drop a photo into the field. From the lesson material you downloaded earlier, drag the photo named ada.png into the container field in FileMaker Pro. Therapists can now flip through records or search on this layout to see detailed information about their clients. Your therapists also want an easy way to view the visits for each client. With relationships, you're able to display data stored in two tables on one layout. In order to show the visit data on the client layout, you'll use a special object called a portal. Based on the screen you created during the planning phase, you'll put a portal of visits under the client fields. Click Edit Layout to go back into layout mode. In the toolbar, choose the Portal tool. Draw a rectangle where you want the portal. After you draw the rectangle for the portal, the Portal Setup window automatically appears. Since you want to see visit data in the portal, choose Visit from the Show Related Records From list. Click the Sort option. The Sort Records window appears. Here you can see the order of the visit records in the portal. If you don't sort by anything, the visits will default to order created, oldest to newest. Select the date field and make sure ascending order is selected, which will place the most recent visit records at the bottom of the portal. Click the Move button to move the sort field to the sort order list. Click OK to save your settings. Set the number of rows to 5. This means that users will see up to 5 visits at a single time when looking at the client details layout. For clients who visit frequently, therapists will need to see more than five visits, but you are limited by screen space. Turn on Allow Vertical Scrolling. With this option, the scroll bar appears on the portal, allowing users to look at more than five visits. Click OK to save your portal setup options. The Add Fields to Portal window appears. Use this window to select the visit table fields you want to display in the portal. Double-click Therapist visit date, and visit time. Click OK to close the window. FileMaker Pro creates the portal and places the three fields you chose in the top row of the portal. If you need to access the portal options again, double-click the portal. Switch to Browse mode and flip through a few records. You'll see each client's visit in the portal. Your therapist can now see that Ada first visited the clinic on July 30th, and last visited on September 14th. Next, you'll add labels for the visit fields in your portal. You'll create labels for the therapist, the visit date, and the visit time. 
Go back to layout mode. Click on the text box tool and then click above the portal near the therapist field. Type therapist. Choose the arrow tool and move the text box to the left so it aligns with the therapist field. With the text box still selected, from the menu choose Edit, Duplicate. Drag the text box above the visit date. Double click on the text box and replace the text with Visit Date. Do this once more to create a label for Visit Time and move it above the time field. Save your changes by exiting the layout mode. Your users will now see both the client information along with their visit history all in one layout. In this video, you created a form view layout and displayed data across two tables using a portal. In the next video, you'll create a new layout where therapists can view details and add services.